This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 26, verses 14 to 25. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. That is when one of the 12, the one named Judas Iscariot, went to the cabal of high priests and said, "What will you give me if I hand him over to you?" They settled on 30 silver pieces. He began looking for just the right moment to hand him over. On the first of the days of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and said, "Where do you want us to prepare your Passover meal?" He said, "Enter the city. Go up to a certain man and say, The teacher says my time is near. I and my disciples plan to celebrate the Passover meal at your house. The disciples followed Jesus' instruction to the letter and prepared the Passover meal. After sunset, he and the twelve were sitting around the table. During the meal, he said, I have something hard but important to say to you. One of you is going to hand me over to the conspirators. They were stunned and then began to ask one after another, "It isn't me, is it, master?" Jesus answered, "The one who hands me over is someone I eat with daily, one who passes me food at the table. In one sense, the son of man is entering into a way of treachery well marked by the scriptures, no surprises here. In another sense, that man who turns him in turns traitor to the son of man better never to have been born than do this then judas already turned traitor said it isn't me is it rabbi jesus said don't play games with me judas the gospel of the lord reflections on the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 26 verses 14 to 25 As we walk along the days of the holy week various events occur that directly lead us to what will take place on good friday Among these events was the fateful betrayal by Judas This action earned him the title of spy by medieval christians Judas secretly watched for a chance to turn Jesus over to the chief priests and so the medieval Christians labeled the day before the Holy Thursday as the Spy Wednesday. Matthew omitted irrelevant details of the customary Passover meal and focused simply on those elements which had been preserved in the community's later celebrations of Eucharist. According to the custom The head of the family would say a prayer of praise and thanksgiving for God's liberating actions and presence among his people. But Jesus radically broke with custom in identifying the bread as his body. In the Aramaic language that Jesus spoke, the word for body would have meant his living and his personal self. Jesus broke the bread before giving it to his disciples his gesture anticipated the violence that the powers of this world would soon exercise toward him they would break his body by eating his broken body his violently murdered self although without them recognizing it at that time the disciples expressed their solidarity with jesus in his non-violent resistance to the aggression and brutality of the world Jesus identified the wine in the cup as his blood the blood of the covenant in the hebrew mind blood was a synonym of life blood of the covenant recalled the blood that moses sprinkled on the hebrew people to seal their acceptance of god's offer of love and protection Jesus saw his imminent death guaranteeing the future kingdom of the Father. He would die in hope, 
for his disciples despite the persecutions and torture they faced in this world eucharist would anticipate the future reign of god and affirm its certainty whatever might be the present experience of the community every eucharist would be a reminder that the kingdoms of the world and their values will oppose the values of God's kingdom because the eucharist is the visible sign of Jesus's real presence amidst his people now we know that this last supper will culminate in the resurrection and the dawn of a new life and hope but there are many who live in utter despair today is a good day to remember them in our prayers and if we know someone who is in need of help approach them and with our presence open a space for the ray of light and hope in the middle of their nights it is not about accusing and condemning but about reaching out and saving <laughs>